welcome to my K Job Blaster. Today I'm going to review the Honey Badger version 2 Job Blaster with you. I will let you know what are the differences between the version 1 and the version 2 of the Honey Badger Job Blaster, as well as what are the good things and areas not that good that you can consider to have improvements. So first of all, I want to let you know that if you have ordered Honey Badger Job Blaster from, from AK Job Blaster and if the stock is coming from Hong Kong starting from, uh, I think, uh, late May, then all of the stocks are already the version 2 of the Honey Badger Job Blaster, no matter the 10 version or the current uh, black version. Okay, let's unbox the Honey Badger version 2 Job Blaster. When you open the box, you will see the Honey Badger version 2 Job Blaster, a pair of safety glasses, a magazine for the Honey Badger Job Blaster, a bottle for the gel balls, and if you have ordered the version with a battery and also a B3 charger, then it will come here. If you didn't order that version, then it will not be included. Now let's have a look on what are the differences between the version 1 and the version 2 of the Honey Badger Job Blaster. So um, when you open the box, you will see that originally in the version 1 of the uh, Honey Badger, there is a sticker here telling you that you should not use the 11.1 volt battery. However, in the version 2 of the Honey Badger Job Blaster, the sticker is removed. The Manufacturer told us that uh, in the version 2 of the Honey Badger Job Blaster, you can use the 11.1 volt battery. However, we still suggest you to um, use the 7.4 volt battery. Now, let me remove the box and let me tell you more about what are the differences and the upgrades in the version 2 of the Honey Badger. In the Honey Badger version 2, the gearbox inside is fully remoulded with stronger metal piston head and also the steel teeth on the rack is uh, strengthened. So the manufacturer said that in this version 2, it can run with the 11.1 volt battery and you don't need to worry about any damages to the required action. However, from our experience and from our customers' feedback, um, if you use 11.1 volt battery, um, then if you are shooting the semi-auto, it will quite frequently give you double shot. And also, um, because the metal uh, caster gears are the same, so if you are using 11.1 volt battery, then they will be uh, wear out sooner than if you are using the 7.4 volt battery. So it's up to you, you can use 7.4 volt battery or the 11.1 volt battery, but our recommendation is to stick with the 7.4 volt one. Okay, now let me tell you what the good things about the Honey Badger Job Blaster and the areas that are not that good that you can consider to have some improvements. So the good thing about the Honey Badger is that when you are holding it on hand, you will feel that it is quite sturdy because it weighed around 1.6 kilogram and also the nylon material is quite thick. So um, it quite uh, will when you hold it on hand. And we love the design of the best stock when you are uh, pushing the button. Then, um, because there is some, uh, there is a spring on the battery clip, so uh, this will be pushed out. And there are three positions for adjustment. Uh, you can adjust it according to your needs, and it is very smooth when you are pushing it in and pushing it out. So here is the battery chamber. So let me remove it. So we can see that the battery chamber is also quite big however it is a little bit short so if you are buying the battery on your own then remember to use the battery that is um, um, uh, in a similar size as that for the vector that is uh, bigger however it is shorter if you have a, a battery that is for the M4 or for pushing it into the uh, buffer tube, then it will likely be a little bit uh, too long. Then what you can do is just to um, adjust the bus stop to here, then the battery is not likely to flow out and you can uh, play in this way. There are no, not much um, impacts on your usage. So um, regarding the areas that you will need to pay some attention to is the design of the handguard, it is a little bit unique, you can see. So um, because of the design of the handguard, then uh, you can see, 
you can see that the outer barrel is up to here and then you have around 20 cm of the inner barrel is here that is left without a an external barrel so if you are considering to add and hop up into it then there will be some issues you need to pay attention if if you add a hop up then uh it will be uh extended to some to some areas like this and because of this then you will need to remove the um the clip here but um it is it is removable but um you require some of your effort we have tried to remove it and, but if you remove the uh, clip here, then because um, this outer barrel is just up to here, so there will be some wobbling in the inner barrel. So if you are shooting the target, then slightly you will have around uh, 5 to 10 degree uh, differences from the target that you are shooting. I hope you, I hope you understand what I mean. And to correct it, what is our recommendation is to have some extended barrels up to um, like here, and then you have to hop up here. And then if you want to have a, um, if you want to have a suppressor, then you just add your suppressor here. So don't leave the outer barrel just up to here. Uh, have some extended barrel up to at least here and then at the uh, silencer here you have the hole up here then it will be all good and uh, remember to have some stabilizing ring or have some teflon tap to uh, wrap it around so that um, it will not have any shaking action when you are clicking the trigger now let me um, plug it into the honey badger and then you can pull your charging handle and then you can start shooting this is the semi auto and then let me show you how it is for the auto mode so you can see that the blowback action is actually quite smooth and the sound is uh, I'll say that the sound is a little bit loud so um, if you are looking for honey badger looking gel blaster and if you are wanting to have a honey badger gel blaster remember to buy the version 2 because uh, it has a new gearbox so enjoy it